Welcome everyone. I'm back again with another video. So this is going to be what do they want to say to you? What are they? What do they want to say? But they may be, you know, holding back or not saying. Yeah, I'm about out of sage, y'all. Um. After I just bundled up all that sage, I'm finna go get another one. Alright, so if you are new to my channel, guys, welcome. I am the Empress. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Let's talk, guys. Let's get into it. This is the episode of What's the Tea? Okay, this is going to be our love session. So this is the section where we discuss love, okay? Um, so this is going to be what do they want to say? What do they want to say? That they possibly aren't saying, but you know, we're going to get the tea. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk. This is um, for all signs, okay? It isn't sign based, it's just general reading. So whatever comes out, comes out, okay? So yeah, they're flying out, so we're ready. So. <laughs> okay so what i'm getting right off the bat what i'm getting <clears throat> okay first um if you're new go ahead and click the bell to subscribe okay go ahead and click that bell to subscribe we would love to have you here um and as this message resonates with you guys Make sure that you are hitting the like button. Make sure that you are commenting, okay? I need my comments. I need y'all to let me know what's going on. Y'all don't got to give me, write me a whole book, okay? Just, you know, let me know, like, hey, it resonates, whatever, whatever, okay? As well, guys, I am currently restocking the website. So the website will be back up and running, guys. Uh, we'll have the Sage Bundles. I got a lot of people asking about the Sage Bundles. We got the Money Magnet Oil as well, guys. It's another, uh, manif it's going to be a lot of manifestation oils that I am getting ready to present on the website, okay? There's a few new oils, okay? So be on the lookout for that, all right? If you want to book a personal read, that information is going to be in the drop box below, okay? You can contact me via email. I have some cash out as well as PayPal. Um, and yeah, let's do it. So right off the bat, guys, I am seeing that there may be a issue about trust. Okay. Whether or not um, if you can trust each other or you trust them or they trust you. Okay. Because I do see that possibly in the past, this person may have deceived you. Um, but they want to let you know that it is safe for you to love. Like, they they want you to feel safe with them. They want you to feel that it is safe for you to let your guard down and that they're going to care for your feelings and your emotions and, you know, all of that stuff. Like, they're trying their best to show you that, you know, it's safe for you to love. Because I do have deception here as well as it is safe for you to love. Okay. Now, I do feel like your person feels a soulmate connection with you. Like, they, they click. When y'all are together, y'all just click. Like, it's just like the perfect union, okay? I really don't like to use the word twin flame a lot um, unless, you know, we've done the reading on, specifically on twin flame. But a lot of times, people, you know, go through their runner chaser phase and... You know, maybe there was a separation, but your souls are still tied to one another. Like you, this your person still feels very, very much so connected to you. Still, very, still feels very much so connected to you. Um, as well, like they want to spend some alone time with you. They want to go uh, out of town and grab, you know, get a hotel and get some wine and. A dinner and take you places and just a, you two alone okay so they want some alone time with you like they want to retreat with you 
They want to disconnect from everything else that's going on around them and just be with you. Okay. They're doing this because they want to work on you guys' partnership. They want to take things to the next level with you. They want to give this a real deal shot. Okay. They want to give this a real deal shot. And I feel like this is after a period of uh, someone being very deceptive, not being honest, being sneaky. Um, and I feel like now they're wanting to repair and, you know, work on this. Okay. That's what I'm getting. That's, that's what I see. So let's see exactly what it is. Like, what do they want to say? What do they want to say? They definitely want to take the lead. <laughs> they definitely want to take the lead. This is too many cards. They want to take the lead, okay? They want to show you that they can lead. They want to show you that, you know, if you sit back a little bit and let me, you know, do me, then, you know, let me do me so I can prove to you and show you that I can lead, okay? Let me show you how I can do. Last time we, we took your lead. This time we're going to do things my way, you know? Let's try my way. Let me let me take the lead. Um, I also have I am quiet to protect you from my ego. So this person could have like a really big, huge ego or whatever. <laughs> They could have a really big, huge ego, and a lot of times they're working, they're possibly working on how to not come off as, you know, like the emperor energy, very strong-minded or very, you know, this person may be a little sarcastic um, and, you know, could be taken the wrong way, but this person really misses you. And they really, like, they're ready for a fresh start. I'm getting, like, maybe you two were in a separation. And you're trying to rekindle. Your person is going through an awakening. Okay, we got, I am going through an awakening. They're realizing that they have to actually put some work into this to make this work. Now, at the bottom of the deck here, we have my ego is loud, but I am listening to my soul. I'm striving for spiritual enlightenment. I feel like your person is really going through a spiritual awakening. Okay, they are understanding that they need to level up in order to, to be with you. They understand that they're getting that. They're willing to put in the effort. They actually want to lead. Okay, they want to lead. Maybe they weren't in a state of mind to lead previously, but I feel like they are there at that point now. Yeah. See, they want you to give them, they want you to give them the driver's seat. They want you to scoot over, scoot over, scoot, 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 scoot over. Mm-hmm. I got this. You sit back. You sit back. I got this. They're watching you. <laughs> they are watching you. Like, they're spying on you. I'm getting like they even been taking notes. They may be watching you on social media, like, watching the things that you post. And it's giving them, like, it's giving them new ideas. Like, it's giving them ideas to, you know, try out. Let's try this. I'm going to try this new thing. Let's see if this works. Like, they're trying out new things, okay? They're being quiet to protect you from their ego. We got the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> and the Page of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like they know that you want a higher level of commitment. For some of you, uh, this is even a marriage um, of some sort, or you've been together for a long time, or they know that you want and deserve a real commitment. 
they know that already um they're they may be really really desired and wanted and like they may have people females or males like drooling over them like admiring them wanting them fantasizing about them um but i feel like that's the ego trip for them like that makes them feel desirable like i'm feeling like they they want to feel desired from you like they want that feeling that you know the outside people are giving them they want that from you okay they only want that from you i feel like they're okay with without having uh five or seven ten girls telling them oh yeah you know you you this you're that they're you know that's an ego boost Okay, but I feel like they want that on a continuous basis from you. Like, they want that that energy from you. Not saying, like, to just boost them up all the time, but just to make them feel desired. Okay? I am going through an awakening. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, they're getting ready to perform from their best self. Okay? They also may maybe kind of like to themselves as well for a while there's something here that they're fighting uh they're fighting this awakening a little bit um because it is a place where they have to come from self-accountability like they have to look at their own selves this person may not be used to doing that okay they're used to placing the blame on other people um uh, you know whatever yeah, see, they're saying, like, this is going to take some time for me to, you know, cut some things off, some bad habits, see my ego. Like, the, it's a process. I feel like it's a process, and they want you to be there with them uh, on this journey, but they want you to have patience with them, okay? Because I feel like your person is going through an awakening, and this is just something that just, they don't feel like it's, it's going to happen overnight. You know, there's certain things about them that, that this is how they've been for years and years and years. This is how things have been going. And, and that's just what it is. Like, it's a hard cycle to break. Um, but I feel like, nonetheless, like, they're willing to do that to be with you. Okay? It's like the more time they spend with you, the more you are helping them wake up um, and come to this realization. I feel like you're a big inspiration to this person. Like, you inspire this person to be better. I'm getting that as well, too. Like, this person looks up to you, and they're looking up to you, uh, like, in a way of, like, dang, this, you know, look at look at their growth. Look at where they've come from. Um, and it's not like a, oh, my gosh. Like, it's, it's more of a, you know, damn, this is my partner, like, I could, I really need this person in my life to help me grow, okay, so this, this is something that they're trying to accomplish, um, personal growth, I, I just feel like they may not have the support system around them, you're possibly, like, that person that they go to for that, boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries, The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. I feel like your person is definitely trying to set up some personal boundaries or they need to set up some type of personal boundaries. Okay, but like I said, this isn't going to be easy. Like setting boundaries or if, even if you are the one setting boundaries, this isn't going to be easy for them. To kind of like they're not used to having boundaries <laughs> they're used to this like they just go up with the flow like they just leap they just take a leap and then things just happen they're not used to structure and things of that sort okay so this is kind of like something new for them um so they're actually like they want to lead but i feel like they're sitting back watching you taking notes like they may not really actually know how to lead so they've been watching you and watching how you know how you take lead and i feel like they're taking notes 
You're taking notes. So I feel like you inspire your your love interest. I feel like you are a very influ influential force in their life. And I feel like that's very beautiful to have someone that could help push you into your greatest version of you. Okay? I feel like that's beautiful energy. I really do. Like, I really love... I really enjoyed doing this read. I really did. I feel like that's some very beautiful energy. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share with your family and your friends, y'all. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.